is the path to me making online me making money online and being successful online, do I have to be an influencer? No. If you're younger, 25, you have no kids and you're okay with it taking longer and if you're okay and you like, you love creating social media. That was me. I loved it. I wanted oh to be God. on Snapchat back in the day. You don't need the money mm -hmm. really bad because uh, there's pain in your life, like helping your family and doing things with your kids yeah. and quitting. You know, you don't, you don't like your boss or your job. Yeah, yeah. You know, you go and do that. But for the person that's like us who has real responsibilities honestly at the end of the day and is in a certain level of discomfort that you want out of mm -hmm. no you should not just grow for the sake of growth Correct. because you're actually going to burn out number one it happens to everybody mm -hmm. like you mm -hmm. think that oh i am tenacious and i'm passionate nope if you don't see a return on investment at around the age 30 with all these responsibilities piled on your shoulders of life your burnout's right around the corner because you're it's right just, there. it's not going to be worth it. Your spouse is going to be annoyed. Why am I watching the oh, kids if you're not making money man. for the men? For your hobby. It just, Ugh. you know, you lose Brutal. fire. Hey there. Welcome to the Digital Income Family Podcast. We are your hosts, Haley and Doug Johnson, married business partners, homeschooling parents of four, dreamers and fans of working less and living more. We help people and families change their lives through online course creation and automation, creating evergreen social content and leveraging email marketing to build your own business rather than on the backs of changing social media platforms. We love helping families pursue their dream life during that nap and nighttime hustle like we have for so many years. Welcome. We are so happy to have you here and we hope you enjoy. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Digital Income Family Podcast. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about a topic that a lot of people feel to be true, but realistically isn't. Okay, And that's the fact that People believe you need to be an influencer to make money online. You got to show your life. You got to show your kids. You got to have big follower accounts. But in reality, we have students currently that are doing it now that don't show their family that have less than five or 6,000 followers online. And they're they have making like 20 to 30 K a month. They have like 500, like 500 followers. followers. Yeah. Okay. So if you want to learn about how that works and why you don't need to be an influencer in 2023 to make money online, then keep on listening. So I think a lot of people, like Doug said, they have this misconception that because you see and you follow people that are making money online, they're ma obviously making money, right? They're driving nice cars. Yeah. They have a nice lifestyle. They have a nice house that you aspire to have. So logically you're like okay well i will do what they're doing and yes. i will post incessantly on the internet yeah there's no there's no denying that you need money to do the fiji trips to buy the bags yeah, so and to do those things like there's, there's no there, denying i see that. comments from people and they'll be like you got this trip sent to you i'm like regardless <laughs> you're like they didn't come in the envelope or what but like regardless if someone's <laughs> sending you a trip you're making a lot of you're money. You're doing something right, right? Like yeah. like you you are doing so something right in you your think business. In your mind. Yes. Like you're, you're like you're doing something that warranted this company to want to give you the free trip. Yeah. Like that's what's happening. But the flip side of it is that it is it is training people to believe that you need those things. It's the only way. This is the only way to get to make money to be able to afford the trips, to be able yes. to afford the bags and the cars and those yes. kinds of things. And yes. I thought this too. Yeah. 100%. This is just like a ab absolute ages me. I'm 31, so but uh -huh. so I feel ages me. Ages me, yeah, ages me. I know it's a throwback. I want to know how. Oh, Continue. okay. So when I was in college, but bothering Doug about making money online, even then, <laughs> yeah, that was when rough. we met in Greek life, I was yeah. doing it. <laughs> well, yeah, literally. Um, I was watching OG YouTubers. Mm -hmm. back in 2014 2013 it started back then and they're all british i don't know why it was just a thing you know like the Literally, whole british oh God, dude, so all of them did you watch them or did you were you aware of the british youtube fad i wasn't aware of the fad but i only knew because you talked about it i don't know i don't know what were you were looking at online anime yeah i wasn't even looking at <laughs> anything kidding. online i was just playing games and living life no you were playing video games yeah, yeah anyways sure. you weren't looking at youtubers no it was like the beginning yeah, the yeah. first no, wave no, it was the wave of, yeah. of youtubers yeah and so i would follow a lot of these british youtubers because there wasn't a ton of huge american ones at least that were popular or that i was interested in i'm sure there was mm -hmm. i just wasn't looking and so they had the life i wanted these british people <laughs> it started with like i was in college and i would watch the sacconi jolies which i don't watch anymore mm -hmm. um and I was like, yep, that's what I want because they had little kids and rolling it green looked... fields in England and like Ireland or Ireland, actually. yeah, whatever shows and, you how much I know. Yeah. And they had this cute little life and they didn't seem to work. So I liked that Yeah, because I was in, it doesn't seem like it. I was sitting in accounting and finance classes, uh -huh. droll, so droll. Mm -hmm. And I knew I didn't really want to do it, mm -hmm. but talking about 
credits and debits. I'm like, Ugh, <laughs> I only did business because Doug did business. And I was like, well, he's not going to be smarter than me. <laughs> he was like, I'm going to show that. <laughs> I was a bull. comm major. And I then know. I was like, I'm not going to do comm. <laughs> but what happened yeah. was is that you associated that lifestyle with the follower account, right? Because they yeah. were big. Well, they and, weren't back. They were, they well, they were like big for, for what the we, time. Yeah, for the time. Yeah. And they just like filmed their life and yes. that's how I started. So I was like, I'm just going to film my life. Yeah. And so I would, I'd put Doug. Yo, I was livid. Pissed. Dude. You weren't, okay. You weren't like livid. <laughs> I wasn't like you were throwing looking, things. No, you weren't. You but were you were like, like, what are you doing Douglas? And I turn around and I'm like, I'm making a peanut my... butter and jelly sandwich. You, like, what do, what do you want? We were like, just dating. <laughs> like, this is not worth it. <laughs> and I, yeah, he didn't see what I saw. Okay. This is like so long ago, like 10 yeah. years. And so I would take my Canon power shot. Mm-hmm. And I would just vlog us and he didn't, he was so uncomfortable and now you don't really care. No, it, it was, it was a weird time back then because like I also associated the fact like, and this is what every new person online also makes the mistake about is they think that every little thing that you put on the internet is going to be seen by millions of people. I and know. it's like, what an arrogant thing to think that you, that you're going to be seen ever. Like how crazy is that? It's, and it's not just like, arrogance, Doug. It is though. Like, like it was it, for like, you because yeah, you're well, only talking about yourself. I know, I know, but, but deep people down, don't. What I'm saying, people think that. Oh, they, yeah, people think that if you're on there, you're on there. Yes, they, yeah. like people. It's, I'm not arrogant. It's an okay, older I should, I, let me you, let me you put it this way. You were. Yeah. Well, no, I'm not. It's not that I was arrogant. It's like how arrogance the wrong word, but it's like how blind are you? to think that you're instantly going to be seen by all these people online when in fact it actually it's takes hard. a ton of work and it's actually so really hard. hard that's why they're found. like i'm scared of the hate i'm like girl you haven't even posted yeah you talk to me about the hate when I mean, it's deep and I three mean, years I saw, later i saw some clip uh, uh, the other day of mr beast being like you know don't expect any of your first 100 pieces of content to be seen 100 by anybody pieces, 100 yeah. your first 100 and so pieces. and i tell people in our youtube printer program i'm like if you're getting hate you've made it and i it's yeah. so twisted okay yeah. i understand how i sound but it's just the truth yeah it means you've reached a, a level like of enough hate to where you're getting right. annoyed yes. not just like the one where it's like doug's classic like your monitors aren't the same brand or whatever <laughs> your glasses are grandma <laughs> you know whatever it's like not yeah. that but it's when it's like floods you're like okay yeah. you're dealing with it mental mental health issues yeah. that's a horrible thing but it's just it is the job and yeah. you've made it like yep. i hate it yep. just yep. don't look at it yeah but yeah so go ahead uh, I forgot where I was going. Oh, okay. So I was watching these British YouTubers. Yes. Yes. And I thought, yeah, like I, I want to be an influencer. And so I just chased the vanity metrics for yeah, years. Absolutely. Yeah. Because you associate their lifestyle with the numbers. Like the thing is that you just, you it looks see them. easy too. That's one thing it I want to touch easy. on. Yes. Yeah. Yes. It looks easy. And when you're watching them, you're like, you're subconsciously building this belief that 400,000, 500,000 views on YouTube means the I can afford I the lifestyle that they have. Whatever they're doing. Yeah, whatever they're yeah. doing. You know, whatever. Who are the other YouTubers? Are yeah. like Fleur and like other people. Yeah, are I don't like OG <laughs> like, beauty YouTubers. Yeah. Yes, and so and so that's that's what you start to build and associate with. And I'm glad that you brought up the like dating yourself and aging yourself back in the day because being an influencer nowadays is much harder. Yeah. Than what it was back then. Yeah, no, I okay, got in like, at a good time, yes. which you can still get in. Like, yes, it doesn't matter, you can. But. but it was it was drastically different, right? But nowadays people still associate the the big numbers with success yes right and so they go into this and they meet us and when they talk to us about our program which i i actually touch on this in a free training that i have you could check it out in the description below it's a free mini course talking yes. about making money online it's very relevant i'm serious it, yeah. this isn't just a random doug plug okay yeah. like it's legit i actually talk about how people come to us and they ask us things like well i i can't do this i can't put my kids on camera yeah. And it's like, you don't have to put your kids on camera or it's like, I can't, I can't do this because like I, I need tens of thousands of views to be able to do this. Well, we got to start somewhere. And it's like, yeah. you don't need hundreds of thousands of views yes. to be able to do that. Like you don't need those yes. things to be successful. So, yeah. And I don't know where you're, where are you going with this? Well, thing? no, what I was oh, just okay. saying is that like, that's, that's people still today's current yeah. measure of yes. success and, 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 and current belief that they need the influencer check boxes to make money online. Yeah. Yeah. And not to get too mindset -y, but whatever you think you need, you need. So if you think you need to work 40 hours a week to make X amount of dollars, then you need to work 40 hours no a week. Deep. If you start to ask yourself, well, could I make this money on one hour a week? You figure out a way I know because we've done mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. So you can get creative with your, you have to change your beliefs. And so yeah. this is what happened to us. So we were doing influencing and we have mm -hmm. a whole pod. Our very first podcast talks about our influencer journey and like 
why it was insane. And so mm-hmm. you can listen to mm-hmm. that if you want to go to episode one. Um, but we did that. So since I believed and Doug believed through me, cause he saw, well, yep. Haley's making money cause she has a lot of a large following and yep. she ke- yep. continues to grow. Our income keeps going up. And so because I believed that I couldn't even like no other opportunities were popping into my energetic field. You know, we're getting woo woo here, but you know what I mean? Like no, nothing was coming into my world that I knew of, of new opportunities that didn't require needing a large audience because yes. you just only know what you see. Because you know? that's just, that is like the only frame of like consciousness that yes. you have, right? Yes. Your brain cannot fathom anything else happening. So you're not even going to look for the opportunities. No. That's something my dad because, actually. Because the opportunity doesn't exist in your head. Yeah. Like how crazy is that? Yeah. And my dad would always tell me, you need to look for opportunities, open your mind to what is, you know, mm-hmm. cause he's like the Yoda of my life, but like open the, open your mind to like what else is possible. Ask yourself, how can I change this belief? Yes. So it's hard because you keep having the self-fulfilling prophecy. I have more followers. Mm-hmm. I make more money. Mm-hmm. And so how do you get more followers? You work harder, you work yes. more. And so that's what happened to us. And we won't talk a lot about that, but absolutely. once we were full-time YouTuber family, mm-hmm. um, I was working a lot. Doug was watching the kids way too much than he wanted to for a grown man. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> they loved it, but he got used to it anyways. Um, but it was, it was out of balance. And we talked about that in one of the last podcasts, I think. Mm-hmm. Um, and so I don't know how it popped into my life, probably because I, it was God, like, honestly, yeah. literally, let's not like, go back down blessing. that big, that big, like tangent. That I we won't, went on one of the last podcasts. I won't. Okay. <laughs> but hold me back. Just kidding. No, I won't. I literally won't. But it was a blessing because yeah. no other influencer that I knew of mm-hmm. got this in their lap. And so yeah. I mentioned it before, but I was on Pinterest mm-hmm. and I saw someone's income report and you know, four years ago, nobody did income reports. Yeah. So it's like really yeah. common now yeah. for the online guru space. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. do you want to talk about who it was or you don't say who it was, but well, you yeah. can say who it was. I don't remember who it was. Yeah. It's that we had back there. Oh, man, it's a lovely life that dot com was it really yeah. i thought it was melissa griffin no it wasn't melissa griffin i thought it was the other one the the like uh financial one Craig that Doe? you had no because there's there was a financial one that was like mm-hmm. not the two cents but it was like something about the cent making sense of sense okay. i thought that's what well, it was back in the day it, it was it's a lovely life uh, was it it's a lovely yeah but life? then they came after okay anyway it was so an I started, og it was like a pin way back in the day pin yeah yeah and it was an income report how I made a hundred. I forgot about all that stuff. Yeah, I don't. Wow. It's ingrained how I'm here. Yeah. Um, how I made a hundred thousand dollars in one month. Yeah. And I was like, oh, you know, just yeah. trying to find something else. Yeah. What is that? You're like, yeah, right, I'm, bro. Yeah. I'm like, you're like, I've never heard. Number one, I've never heard of you in my life. Well, that's what it was. Yeah. Okay. And I was like, and you're a blogger, which like, I knew bloggers made. I don't, me. I don't believe a single thing you have to say because I don't know who you are. How crazy is that? Like, that's what, how people yeah. think. Right, well, like, it's your Twitch reaction. Well, I gotta see how, like, if this is real. Well, like, yeah. do they have the following? Yeah, yeah. You have like an instant yeah. doubt because it's not like a celebrity or someone that's in, that has influence, quote unquote influence, yeah. that's saying these yeah. kinds of things. So you have instant yeah. doubt, instant scam. Mm-hmm. And a lot of our students that come okay, in. Okay, but are Doug pe- has this. I don't. I do. Yeah, <laughs> Doug's I have talking it. about himself. Yeah, yeah. but I'm but always like, this has got to be real. A lot <laughs> of quote kidding. unquote normal yeah. people, like I say, normal because yeah. we're not influencers. But a lot of people come to us and they have the same belief that it's like. Because it's not someone that currently has influence in my life or has the numbers to prove it. It's not real. It must be a scam. Yeah. It must lying. be fake. They but, must be lying. You know, that is how most people think. I don't for some reason. I think it's again because my well, dad. I mean, you got, yeah, you got that dad that. Just that, speaks yeah. like dreams into me. Yeah. I don't know. So I was always like looking Text for. Text you at like three in the morning randomly. And it's oh, just yeah, like, I got this like vision that's here. Golden your... advice. Yeah. And then it happens and it works. Yeah. Yeah. yeah anything mm-hmm. my dad, I'm telling Doug my whole life. Just so you know, my dad, like marrying into this family. Okay. <laughs> anyway, so <laughs> now Doug is the dad. Okay. So I want to have my dad on the podcast. That'd be that wild. That would be That'd like. Be wild. Speaking of he thinks everyone follows me, you know, mm-hmm. like, yeah. I don't know. Um, so we'll see if that happens. But okay. So I saw this blog post and I was like a blogger who teaches people how to blog. So it was a basic, basic, you know, mm-hmm. some people will say, well, that's cause she doesn't, well, whatever, who cares what it is. I want to know yeah. how this random person with, so I looked, stalked her yep, yep. and her family. She still like, I don't follow them as much, but mm-hmm. she's not an influencer. So it's hard mm-hmm. to follow people that aren't mm-hmm. posting intensely. Uh, she travels the world with her family. It was like for 250 days a year. We try on the road. Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, and I had really small kids and I was like, well, I want that one day. You know, I mm-hmm. want to travel. It's all I've mm-hmm. ever wanted to do. See different things. Um, besides California, you mm-hmm. know? And so then she was like, um, I make this through my course mm-hmm. and my affiliates that go along with my course. And I was like, what the heck is a course? Yeah. So that's how it all started, obviously. Yeah. And, it's because the bottom line here that we're talking about 
and the answer to the question, do mm-hmm. you need to be an influencer? And we said, no, is you don't. The answer Correct. in a nutshell, and it's going to sound like, duh, Haley, that's where you're getting at because you sell it, whatever. <laughs> you need to sell your own products <laughs> and you don't need to be a, an influencer. You need to Absolutely. have, you need to influence people. But nowadays being an influencer is like, you know. I mean, how ironic is it too that our course is called Influencer Course Accelerator, our coaching program? I wanted to change it. I know, we want to change it, but it's stuck now. It's stuck. You need to have influence. Yes. And so there's a difference between having influence and being an influencer, right? Like that, it's a lovely life, which I forgot what they sold and what they did. How to to be a a blogger. blogger. Right. That's right. Yeah, yeah. How to be a blogger. That's right. I was thinking another one because I actually met another family that did the Amazon selling course. Yeah. At yeah, me. Flynn Con. Like no, no. Yeah, something yeah, like that. Yeah. Like family, yeah. yeah. And so very similar situation. Yeah. Right? Like not influencers in any in any particular yeah. way back then. But yeah. had that money, had the proof with the yeah. incomes and the blogging incomes mm-hmm. and stuff like that, right? So yeah, it was drastically it was like a drastic wake up call mm-hmm. that we had. And I do want to talk about it in a second because people will be asking us today, should I be an influencer? Yes. Not back then. Yeah. And it's like today, I would almost say it's worse being an influencer. So I wanted to interrupt today's podcast with our sponsor, Kajabi. And so if that sounds like I'm speaking a foreign language, Kajabi is the single best purchase. I mean, nearly the best purchase other than like other online courses and mentors as far as like tools in our business throughout the last two years, hands down. Kajabi is it. And so Kajabi is basically a place where you can do multiple different things. Um, It's a tool, it's a site, it's a resource where you can host your online courses, your eBooks, your downloadables. So that's where we host all of our courses, like all of them. And also a place where we interact with our community. So it's like Facebook in a way that you can, this is where I, we coach our students directly every single day in Kajabi. Um, so we upload all of our videos for all of our online courses in there. We coach our students, but not only that, the best part about Kajabi is the fact that you can do everything. And so we actually switched from two other course hosters before, and we had great success with those. We liked uh, Teachable and I think another one a long time ago and no shade to those, but The best part about Kajabi is you pay a flat fee. They not only host your courses, but they also uh, do all of your emails. So we send all of our emails through Kajabi. They're also an email provider. So you save money that way. It's an all-in-one service that does everything great. And a lot of our websites and some of our sales pages are actually created through Kajabi as well. And so typically when you run an online business, what a lot of people will do and what we did is you'll have a, you'll pay a separate fee per month for your email provider. And then you'll pay a separate fee for a website provider and another place to host your courses, another place for our community, and it becomes really expensive. It can be literally over a thousand plus a month for all of these different service providers. And so we ended up canceling all of them and went straight to Kajabi. And the best part is, is we have a free 30 day trial link that you guys can click on down below. And if you don't want to commit to it, if you just want to try out Kajabi to maybe start creating your website or starting your email list or hosting your online courses or community, then you can try it free for 30 days. And so that is available with our link down below. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into the podcast podcast yeah because we have students that just came on right yeah. that that are bona fide influencers number one in their niche yeah right that came out and they're like we can barely get a brand to pay us any money for anything i don't know what's going on with that i have other okay. thoughts on that I you think do it's have the other niche. thoughts it might be the niche too yeah. but just because you have the influencer numbers doesn't mean the brands come flocking no and, and now and it's interesting now that it's like you know come full yes. circle for us knowing what I, what my beliefs then, and then mm-hmm. like shifting my beliefs because obviously, you know, duh, we launched our own course. We realized, wow, we were able to make like 10 X what we make with yes. through brand deals and affiliates and shilling like reward style mm-hmm. and Amazon associates and like anything selling things on Etsy, you know, yeah. selling your own products in your own way through your own funnels is mm-hmm. 10, hundred times more lucrative. Yes. And so once we learned that, then we started teaching people how to do it of mm-hmm. all size audiences, zero yep. followers, a yep. hundred thousand. And that's been like crazy to us we still learn the capability of people's influence yes and it's yes. not numbers so we have people that are like tiktok stars mm-hmm. they don't make very much money at all mm-hmm. like a thousand a month mm-hmm. you know two thousand a month i don't know yeah going the traditional like influence but then we have there, other you know? people that are youtubers that get a lot of views but just can't sell product yes because they get a lot of views because their life and their the pictures on the screen, the videos are interesting, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. but they aren't. There's no depth to the personality and yeah. the person. Yeah, yeah. So it is so like it's spider crazy. webby. It, it it really is. And so that, you may think that. Sorry, I know. I'm no, just no, 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 no. It's okay. No, but no. You may think someone makes can sell a lot of their own products or sell a lot of like 
you know, like a, a lynx, mm-hmm. you could be dead mm-hmm. wrong and they're not making that much because they tell us how much they make. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. A lot of them do. And it's, it's pretty crazy because, you know, your idea of what an influencer is, is still the same as probably what it was in 2013 is that mm-hmm. lots of brand deals, lots of sponsorships, lots of money that's like that. But those people that did just mm-hmm. come on, they actually make a ton of money through other people's products and being affiliates for them in like a, in a very direct manner. Yeah. Like, that like can they have, they have a business relationship with someone, the, which is company, different. Yes. With the company in Amazon links. Yes. Yeah. Not affiliates like that. He actually, they actually have like a line with a company, Yeah, which is different. And so even that starts to break the traditional boundaries of what an influencer can be. Mm-hmm. Right. Except maybe like beauty where you have like your own line and stuff mm-hmm. that, which is like, I guess a different, a yeah. different kind of thing that's there. But what I want to get at with the, being an influencer in 2023, the reason why it's harder to go that route and why you should just relax, be yourself, sell your own products and to your own people, to a specific problem, specific people with a specific problem in a specific place, way. in a way. specific way. Yeah. The reason why I want to do it, why I think you should do it that way is because nowadays, 100,000 followers is almost like 10,000 followers back in the day. That would stress me out. If I was a full-time right? YouTuber again, I would just die. Dude, like if you're not, if you're not hitting 500, 600 subs... 500, 600,000 subs, which is equivalent back then to like 60 or 70,000 subs. Like you're not an influencer. Yeah. Like you're not, you don't, you're not making the kind of money. So I think numbers and influencing is overinflated nowadays, oh, yeah. like drastically overinflated. Not only can you like buy views, not only can you join pods and do things to yeah. overinflate your engagement that's there, but people are so many people are online nowadays that like the follower, the value of a follower is less. Yes. Like the value of a follower is le- like depreciated follower value. Yeah. You know, there could be like, I hate to say it, but there could be like 12 year old kids that follow you on your accounts that don't it mean happens. anything that it aren't happens. that because they, they have social because they, they yeah. because they just have an iPhone now. Yeah. And I haven't done a sponsorship because we relied 80% of our income was on sponsorships oh, man, for about two years. Yeah. And so we did a lot of Hello know- Chef or HelloFresh and I like Home those Chef and, yeah. People don't, but I like those. They were annoying Anyways. to cook. <laughs> <laughs> I had because you the, had to cook. No, the only pillow. time it was annoying was it was like when we cooked it and they were like, "You you chopped the onions wrong. We had to go buy another onion." No, and they like... never said that. <laughs> it wasn't them. They were so easy. They those were those kinds of yes, anyways. Yes, yes. It was other things when Doug had to redo. Yeah, I won't even there go through those stories. Interesting times. But anyways, where I was going with that also is where we were is also what is interesting is um, nowadays brands they don't just pay you a flat fee. So when I did influencing whatever YouTubing for full time with Doug as a family, they would pay me three grand. And I'm like, that's amazing. Cause you just need a couple mm-hmm. a week or mm-hmm. one a week. It depends on how much money mm-hmm. you want to make and how many, how much you want your audience to come at your throat. Yep. Honestly, yep. Yep. for my niche dudes, yep. niches don't care. They do a sponsorship three times mm-hmm. in their video. It's so annoying. The bro, the bros, whatever, yep. you know, they're like, they never complain. I'd love it. I'd love it. If I get to do random ads they and like random stick it in products. There. Yeah. Oh. Okay. So earbuds and apps and all yeah. Kind of stuff. Okay. But that the women get really, I think jealous yeah, or something. Wrecked. wrecked. I don't know what's Absolutely going on. Absolutely wrecked. It's you're just doing this for money. I'm like, yes, to feed like, my family. I do why? this. This is my job. Like you should see it. It's so funny. It's super random side tangents. Okay. But when you're on like a guy's Twitch stream, which you don't ever watch Twitch, you don't know how this works, but you can roll ads on Twitch when people are watching. And the more of con- concurrent viewers that you have while the ad rolls, the more money the Twitch streamer makes. Okay, so when a Twitch streamer starts popping off or somebody raids them, which means they send them all a bunch of viewers and there's a bunch of viewers in there, dudes are like, run the ads, run the ads. Like, I want the ads, I'm run that. so them. annoyed. <laughs> They're like, roll another ad. So like, make so that money, bro. Annoyed. I know. So annoyed. I <laughs> know. Some like mommy influence the other day on Instagram was like, just so you guys know, she's huge. I'm going to do less um, affiliates like uh, a less 20% off codes because I just want to not push you guys to buy. I'm like, let's all live in reality. Okay, I'm I'm done. I'm not gonna rant on it, but okay. you know my thoughts because she's trying to make money. Like, embrace it. Like, yes, whatever. It is just you can't control people not buying from no, you. Like, no. they are gonna buy. Like, whatever. that's another reason why you probably shouldn't be just an influencer in today's world. Yeah, is because yes. Go ahead. <laughs> no, go ahead. I was. Just I gonna, restrained myself. Uh, <laughs> I was just gonna say because people are so so dang negative. Oh and, yeah, and and yeah. so like against. Like, if you don't have to have the that success backlash, and against don't. the things, you know, like yeah, like. I, I almost feel like people think it's a supportive world out there on the internet. They mm-hmm. think like everyone's so cheery and happy about mental health and success and stuff like that. But what you sell and your audience. So it can yeah. happen. 
It can. Yeah, you can have a good audience. But man, is the you gotta the, tiptoe. The internet gets even worse nowadays. Like I feel like it continues to get worse. Anyways, okay. So what I was <laughs> it does it's just a doomsday. Okay, but what I was saying is nowadays brands they want to know the percentage of sales you got for the last brand deal. Oh, they don't want to just pay you a flat fee. No, they're like, well, we need to see numbers. So like, how much did you sell of the last? deodorant company that's like you. back in the day like what percentage Haley used to get away with straight murder mm-hmm. like like in terms of charging people but actually things. i sold a lot Haley sold a ton i have and like, had a very engaged audience i have depth clearly yes. like i'm not saying i'm the best but you I'm didn't not, have but like, to prove it i was authentic to people like you didn't have to show a ton of stuff towards the end of influencing we had to show google analytics numbers and start like proving yeah just if things. you want to make more money you have to sell more but, and you got to yes convince your audience yes. to buy the product so anyways you don't always have to do that with every brand deal but that is what i hear it used from to be it used to be the wild west yeah it used to be wild but yeah i mean even even more so like now that there's more agencies that work with influencers to connect brands with influencers and they want to return on their investment they're like how many views i'm going to pay you a certain dollar per thousand views oh my gosh it's like you know i'm gonna yeah i'll get like you are worth six dollars yeah and, and it's it, going to just get harder and harder. Yeah. But anyways, I'm not, and we're not like, you know, trying to tell you not to fulfill your dreams. Like if you, what you want to do is sell or is to do Amazon associates, you know, if what you mm-hmm. want to do is to get hello fresh, is that at home chef? Yeah. Both things, whatever yeah. the same thing, but you know Blue what I mean? Like, also. yeah, if you want to do that, cause that is what you want to do and you don't care what we're saying, mm-hmm. you know, and you want to work a lot, a lot. Just let them know, Haley. All just, the let, just let them know. All the time. If you and want, if you want to be mentally on all the time, and you want to put your kids everywhere online, you don't have to put your kids everywhere. That's just what I did. People are gonna be like, "Oh, I don't have to do what Haley did." You don't. You don't. You can do you, and it could just be you, or it could just be filming your dog. There are people that do that. They don't. Oh, how much man. do they really make, honestly? Oh, but anyways, so you can do all the things, you know. And I would be the person if I was a friend of yours to say, "You go and do it." My friend Shelby, she's not doing it anymore, but she wanted to do fashion. And for like a while she did when she lived here. Yeah. She lives in Colorado now, but, and she is a non-social media guru. Okay. So she has no presence. And Mm -hmm. I was like, you do it. I wasn't over here. You do a course. Like I was not, you know, cause it's just not for her. Like it's not for everybody. You know, she (laughs) didn't want to do that. It just different phases of life, different pain points for people. She didn't need to make 50 grand a month Mm -hmm. in the next 60 days, you know? Mm -hmm. So she just wanted to see and dip her toes in. And I was the first person to be like, you know, send me your videos like let's look at it 100 this is supportive. how you would do this yes. yeah so yes. it's not that i am like on my high horse here saying no. that what you're doing is wrong as an influencer but, but i'm just saying if what? you're asking us yeah Haley and doug is the path to me making online me making money online and being successful online do i have to be an influencer no and in fact for most people that are our age with like a life you know, if you're if you're younger, 25, you have no kids and you're okay with it taking longer and if you're okay and you like you love creating social media. That was me. I loved it. I wanted oh to be God, on Snapchat dude. back in the day. Dude, I took so many you blog know? pictures and like Would I have done things random differently? Outfits and parks? Absolutely. Would I have not changed my <laughs> WordPress theme like a thousand times? So I thought it mattered. Yes, I would have looked at SEO and been real, but when you don't need the money, mm-hmm. really bad. Uh, Cause there's pain in your life, like helping your family and doing things with your kids yeah. and quitting, you know, you don't, you don't like your boss or your job, yep, yep. you know, you go and do that. But for the person that's like us who has real responsibilities, honestly, at the end of the day and is in a certain level of discomfort that you want out of, mm-hmm. no, you should not just grow for the sake of growth Correct. because you're actually going to burn out. Number one, it happens to everybody. Mm-hmm. Like you mm-hmm. think that, oh, I am tenacious and I'm passionate. Nope. If you don't see a return on investment at around the age 30 with all these responsibilities piled on your shoulders of life, your burnout's right around the corner because you're just, it's not going to be worth it. Your spouse is going to be annoyed. Why am I watching the kids if you're not making money for the men for your hobby? It just, you know, you lose fire because you don't see something out of it, you know? And so for that person, no, do not just post and wait for blessings to bless you because that's not how business is. You need to go and attack and make money and like, go get your money, provide value provide value provide value is like such a thing that that's I how you think get money obviously. that is how you get money but i also think that that's such a thing that's missing from the internet today yeah is that r- true value true value yes, it's, it's hard it's subjective. because everything's short form everything's short form and everything's yeah. like now we just sound like baby boomers up in here complaining about the world but whatever 
I know you always become like your parents. Your generation's lazy. I know. And I'm just like, I'm those just like, lazy, lazy kids. kids. Yeah. Just kidding. But no, realistically, it's just that if you came to us as a student and you asked us, what should I do? Should I be an influencer or not? We would ask you a simple question. Yeah. Be how much money do you want to make and when do you need to make it? How bad do you need yes, it? Yes. And how bad do you need it? Okay. Yeah. It's like, it's like, how bad do you need to make a change in your life? And if you're like, I don't need to, you can go ahead and go be an influencer, do whatever yeah. you want. But if you're like, I need to make changes now. I need $10,000 tomorrow. I need to get out of debt. I need to You'll pull my kid out of school. You'll do some things yes, that yes. are uncomfortable. And because it, being an influencer is pretty comfy. It is. It's fun. It is. It's not hard. No. And so when you need to do those things, you will do the stuff that is that is m- harder, but it's also going to be thing that's going things? to get you a return on your investment. Yeah. It's going to be... What will we tell you? I mean, I would tell you that you need to be able to sell something. Yeah. Okay. And it better that's provide yours. a transformation. You need to provide value. You need to sell something and you need to get really uncomfortable and talk to people. Yeah. Like, you know, you we're know, not talking about word of mouth. No, 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 no. Yeah. Well, I'm talking like you need to, you need to start conversations with people that you're finding mm-hmm. online in certain areas, like, you know, forums or whatever it could be to try to start building a business and selling your product. But at the same time, oh, I over here and Doug mm-hmm. too, mm-hmm. but since I come from this land, I know how impactful and powerful having an influence is. Oh, this so was just me saying if you need $10,000 tomorrow. Yeah. You can get it without, without yeah. following. But if but we, yeah. you still need to be along that journey. Yes. If you don't need $10,000 tomorrow, then you 100% need to be building a brand that finds buyers and not followers. Yeah. Okay. You need to build a brand alongside you trying to make the money. And there is an absolute difference like we mentioned. Oh, yeah. it's yeah. A, There's such a difference. It's actually a, mo- it's actually a module too. in our course. It's actually yeah. a lesson on our program. Like I said, huge yes. followings that we know of with people and they can't sell a thing. Couldn't sell a thing. Because there's no depth to the person. Yeah, we don't make this up either. This is all legit stuff, like yeah. stuff that actually happened. But that should be a good episode. But anyways, yeah. I think, yeah, that will be a good episode. Selling your own product and having influence with a small amount of people. Like, so just to give you guys some examples, yeah. some of our students have around a thousand followers, which mm-hmm. is easy to get. Mm-hmm. And you have to have depth to yourself. Okay. Yes. You can't be surface level, just pointing on reels every day. Like it's got to be long form content. It's ideal YouTube or podcasts, but you also have to need to go viral. So it's either going to be you, t- you take your pick yeah. YouTube and Instagram reels mm-hmm. in addition to a podcast. Because if you just do a podcast, you're not going to be seen unless you have connections with people to get on their podcast, which yes. people do that. But yes. that's another tangent. Yep. Um, and so there's just, you have to have a social media strategy yep. that includes showing your character, your flaws, your depths, and your transformation. Yes. If you can effectively do that um, then you and sell your own products alongside yes. it, you will make 10K within... A couple months yeah. versus 30, a couple say, years. Yeah, 30 to 60 days. That's all. Yeah. That's all. You can Honestly, quit your takes, job. We have students that do that. They, and they have a yeah. thousand followers. They have 600 followers. Yeah. But they sell their, they sell. Like they sell. Yes. And they're not like, buy my thing every single day. It's not that. It's just no. they have something to, they have something they have to sell. They have value. And so they yeah. provide value. They influence the right to people. Buy. Yes, they they influence the right people, and people ask how can like how can I work with you to get help from you? Yeah, people ask that. And this yeah, the yes. sweetest situation is you start making full time living really quick, mm-hmm. and then one day you do brand deals as a cherry on top. Yeah, you do it for fun. If you even want to, I don't even want to. But like, yeah. if you want to hassle with that and be told what to say like a mouthpiece i'm just kidding <laughs> um because that is how it is. But if you want to do that, then you can make even more money like down the line. Yeah. Yeah. So, all right, Haley, final verdict. Should you be an influencer, traditional influencer, regular person influencer in 2023? Alone? Alone? What Just an alone? influencer alone? No, unless okay. that's what you want to do. You know? I like it. If you want to make the most amount of money, you'll sell your own stuff first. You'll have less stress. You'll mm-hmm. work like mm-hmm. 80% less time and you have time to have mental health. I'm about it. You guys yeah. heard it here from the former full-time influencer. You were That's too us. <laughs> but I mean, realistically, yes. Should you be an influencer? No. Should you have influence? Yes. Yeah, there's a difference. There is a difference. And I hope that sticks with you guys yeah. on this one. But yeah, if you guys want to learn more about what it takes to be able to do digital products, online courses, coaching programs, things like that, check out the free mini course in the description below. Or if you're listening on the podcast, click around somewhere that's there. If you're listening up on Apple Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, if you're listening on Apple Podcasts, please leave us a review. We really appreciate it. It's free. It takes like 10 seconds of your time to do. Um, Haley, any other closing thoughts? Anything else? No, I think that's it. Awesome. I always get scared when I ask her that question because I think she's got a bunch more to say. But First time in your life. (laughs) We will see you guys on the next podcast. Thanks for listening. Bye, Bye, guys.